Hello and welcome back to the Unboxers and today we have for you an awesome Batgirl action figure! Yes! And this is a McFarlane Toys action figure. Yes it is, part of the DC Multiverse Collection. And this one actually comes with a Build-A-Piece to a Batmobile. Yes. Which we actually will not be building. I think we did the other figure that came with the middle piece, but yeah. we will take a look at the back of the box. Alright, so this is from the DC Multiverse. And there's Batgirl, of course. There she is inside there. Um, looking really cool with the yellow accents. Um, is that a grapple? Yeah, like a bat grapple. Bat grapple. And, then and the, look at that. Like golden. Gold batarang. Um, let's take a look at the back. So, as always with the awesome uh, McFarlane toys figures, you get this artwork on the back, which actually comes as a collector card inside. Um, and then it'll show you which piece comes with her, and then, yeah, I believe we... Yeah, I think we got the metal piece that came, piece. With, came with Nightwing, so we're missing yeah. the other side the other that side. came with the Batman Who Laughs. Well, there you but have it. But these are some of, like, the first, the first sets that came out, so they're kind of right. hard to come by. Very I was really cool. shocked when I actually found Batgirl. Oh, wow. So you need to collect all of those to build that, but we will show you what that piece does look like. And that's really cool. Her actually on her bat. Is that a bat cycle? Yeah, bat cycle. As well. All right. It is time to get Batgirl out of her box so we can give you a much closer look. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And there's Batgirl. She looks like she's got her arm around somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let's take a look at what she comes with. First of all, her accessories. Whoa. All right. So there's the golden. Uh, is this Batarang? Right, I was going to say that, but um, then I was like, hmm, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a, the symbol of it. But it's kind of cool because it's um, a little bit more filled in and a little less yeah. little less boomerang looking and a little bit more bat star looking, yeah. like a Chinese star type feel. Um, well, you know, it's always been called a batarang, but I don't think I've ever seen it in, come back. in the comics <laughs> where it comes back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have the awesome card with the artwork. And then on the back, you get a little um, bio and statistics. So if you want to freeze that, you can read that awesome stuff about Batgirl. And you can put those in collector sleeves or a book yeah. and collect them all with your figures. Here's her grapple battery. Look at that, how it's all like. It's kind of cool because it's kind of like. Um the way I imagine it, it's kind of like it's just been fired. Yeah. So like the the, the, the Super line is motion. uncoiling. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, it's actually, that's cool how it is. You know, I mean, you can't really tell that it, and then it's got the little slits in there. Yeah. And it's going to open up and grab. But um, that's really cool. And as always with the McFarlane um, figures, they come with a base. It's DC and has a thing to peg into the bottom of her foot. Here's the extra build the piece that um, she comes with, and I like the uh, like the I don't like uh, the stressed look. Yes, the stressed look with the metal. That's really cool. Gives a little extra something, and um, I like the detailing on the side. And this is kind of a fun size. I mean, once it gets all yeah. together, it's a kind yeah, of a fun size. It's definitely not one that like you know goes with the figures. And right. It's just kind of a, take up too much yeah, room. Like yeah, in the distance, Display. like you put it far right, away and say, yes. let's go. All right, um, let's take a look at Batgirl herself. All right, so there you have it. So her bangs are kind of covering most of one eye, which is really cool. And it's kind of sculpted heart. It's not like a, like it's a rubber piece, like you can lift it up. It's sculpted down like that and accentuates that one left eye. So I hope she has really good vision in that eye. <laughs> There's her mask. She's got some really dark lipstick but I kind of like the smirk on her face you know it's kind of that tough tough um, superhero smirk yeah well it kind of reminds me of um, got the bat ears up like there. the like young Barbara you know a like young mm -hmm. bat girl or like when you know when, when Robin was Rob you know like when Dick Grayson was Robin like they're they're like teenagers so mm -hmm. they're yeah fighting crime but they're having fun right 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 doing it so I can see that, and I like the the black wash that they did with her hair to give it some give it some depth, which is really cool. Um, it is a little bit rubbery down here, so you can move it a little bit so that her neck can move a little bit more. But um, anyway, that's cool. So um, here's the yellow detailing um, across the top of her suit, and then there's her gloves. 
And they have some spikes hanging down. She's got a really cool belt. And this kind of mirrors the um, that right there. Yeah. Um, which is cool. And then um, I like the bats, like at the top of her boots. That's really cool. Um, how they did that. And look, some spikes back here. Let's take a look at her cape. So she has a shorter cape. It's definitely in motion. And it definitely has all the awesome folds and detailing. Which uh, gives it that really cool look. It's all flared out. And, um, all right, on to John for articulation. Okay. Okay, so you have the, the ankle, and, of course, it will um, bend as well as uh, pivot. You have the, the toes, the double knee. You have the, the hips. Oh, see, you really do. I know. You have the, um, like, the mid-torso that will allow her to pivot, like, at the waist. Um, you have the double shoulder, the double elbow. So you check the time? <laughs> yes, so she's like, what time is it? <laughs> and like the, the double uh, wrist that will twist as well as bend. Uh -huh. And then of course then her neck articulation. Oh, Let's so it's see. like, so, oh, I was going to say, go ahead. So yeah, she can look down. I'm sure like, yeah, the hair is going to keep her from looking up, but she can like look you know, to the sides and, and down some. So it kind of looks like, is there articulation below this um, blue rubber piece or is it all turning from that point? That's what yeah, I'm I think it, Yeah, I think the, the, I think the, it's somewhere underneath the. Oh, okay. So yeah, like the head is one piece and then the neck is part of the body. So okay, because it kind of looked like it was, it was also turned from under, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it also looked like it was turning from underneath there, but I guess that oh, okay. piece stays stationary, right? But it is cool, yeah. But it is cool, like, the the way they, you know, use the costume and whatnot to right. hide some of the articulation points. Yeah, that is really cool. It definitely makes for an awesome figure when you have those hidden and it's more realistic looking. Okay, so yeah, it was really cool um, actually finding her because she was the, the one I needed uh, still for the, uh, the Gotham Knights. Oh, okay. So that's the, uh, the the game that's coming out soon, and it's you can play as Batgirl, Robin, Nightwing, or Red Hood. So awesome. I have the other three, so she was the one I was missing. All right, you complete the puzzle, Batgirl. She's like, I knew it. That's what the smirk on her face was. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching. As always, come back and see us, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.